Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com and today I'm testing and unboxing the Penrith Junior Hiking Boots from High Tech. Here's their website right here. Make sure you check these guys out. These guys have been making pretty cool boots for a while and now they're making a lot of stuff in kid sizes too, so definitely worth a look at. So High Tech was nice enough to send me two pairs, one for my son, one for my daughter. My daughter's 11 and my son is 7, and obviously they have different sizes, but you know, there's no better shoe, boot, slash, whatever, tester for footwear than a kid. Kids are very hard on shoes, and you know, their feet are growing at such a rapid rate that I figured I'd get them about a half size too big just so they could grow into them, but I want them to really beat them up and I wanna see how well they can take it. So here they are right here. So I have the boys, Penrith, Junior Hiker. This is their, their walking boot. And this is waterproof, as well as the, the girls, Junior Hiker as well. So I'm gonna get them out of the box and I'm gonna show you how good they look and I'm gonna go over the features and benefits. All right, so I'm gonna move the camera around and I'm gonna open the box and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. All right, so I'm just gonna move this box out of the way. You don't need to see all this. Okay, so here's the boot. And just right out of the gate, it's, uh, it feels real solid and very, very well made. Uh, it does have this non-marking outsole right here. You know, it does have pretty nice tread in the back there with some uh, heel brake. Pretty aggressive tread design right there, so you can really tell that this boot's going to get a lot of traction. And these are waterproof. There's the little waterproof thing right there. We're going to put these things to the test here, probably this coming weekend, maybe around Memorial Day. We're going to take these things and kind of see how well they can withstand water without getting soggy sock. So let me get this out of there. And we're going to get this stuff off there. All right, so first off, you want to kind of help support, you know, Magnum and High Tech for stopping uh, the poaching of rhinos. Basically, the world is facing an enormous threat. Rhinos are being killed in, in ever-increasing numbers, predominantly for their horns. Over 1,200 rhinos were killed in South Africa in 2013. So what uh, High Tech and Magnum are doing is to try to help prevent people poaching rhinos, especially for their horns. So very good that a company is out there trying to give back and trying to do their part. All right, so you can just see in the regular, just the overall boot design here. Lace structure is really, really nice. It's very well laid out. It's gonna provide a lot of support. And they do have these flex grooves right here and right here. And so when your, your boot is flexing right here, you're going up and down, 
you know, just regular walking, it's still gonna provide lots and lots of traction. So let's talk about the waterproofness on this boot here. It's a, a technology called dry tech and it's specifically formulated um, for high tech. And what this is, is basically it's a breathable built in membrane and it's gonna really keep your feet dry. At least that's what they say. So we're gonna put them to the test and see how well they do. But you can look at all the high quality rubber bash guards on the toe and on the heel. So really, really nice, very, they're right out of the gate. They look like they're really tough. So I really like them. They're very lightweight and I'm sure my son is going to like these. Another cool feature is what they call eye shield. And it, basically they describe it as an invisible protective outer layer. And what that does is it repels dirt and water and it's specifically developed for, um, for high tech. So nice proprietary little technology that they have going for them right there. Okay, so taking out the footbed here, it's your pretty much standard foam footbed, but the heel is very cushioned. I mean, you can see how thick that is. And it's probably, it's probably that thick, easy in the heel and pretty thin up front by the toes, but pretty nicely made. And you know, this is uh, this foam tendency to break down over time. This thing will start to rub raw and you will wear through these, but they are insoles. They're made to be replaced, so not a big deal there. So the liner on the inside of the boot also wicks away moisture, so that's gonna pull sweat away from your foot and wick it to the outside of the boot where the air can dry it quicker as well. So it does have this nice little suede outside here as well, and that's really gonna be very, very durable, you know? It's really gonna take a beating over time, and it's, um, as I said, this is a mid hiker, so it's not a high top, but still comfortable, provides lots of ankle support, and it's really gonna be nice for the little ones getting out there trying to, you know, do some hiking, possibly backpacking when they get a little older. And I really like it so far. It does have a nice little pull tab here and here on the tongue. And you can just tell, if you loosen these up a little bit, the tongue is sealed as well for really increasing the waterproofness of this boot so so far so good i i like it and that's the boys hiking boot let's get the girls okay so obviously my daughter's is going to be a little bit bigger get these tags off of here All right, and here's the girls. Penrith Hiker. Now, I'm gonna get this little, uh, you know, they have the paper on the inside there, but still, same lace design. Very well made. Great little bash guards on the front and on the heel. Same kind of outsole. Lots of, you know, lugs and spikes here for traction. And they do have these def, uh, has the same flex groove, same outsole as the boys. And it is a mid hiker, just like I said, suede outer, waterproof liner. It also has a uh, moisture wicking inner liner that's gonna pull moisture away from the foot and bring it to the outside of the boot so the air can dry it. it has this very nice waterproof suede mesh upper. And as I said, we're gonna get this thing out in the, in the water here and see how well they are uh, waterproofness wise. Now this boot carries the same um, options as the other one. It has the dry tech, you know, the waterproof and breathable uh, built-in membrane. It has the eye shield, the invisible protective outside layer. V-Lite, basically that's just a, uh, a design for high tech, meaning that these things are designed to be comfortable and to really contour the foot, as well as to keep um, a natural stance with the foot. So high tech tries to make them as light and comfortable as possible. So you can just tell the, the size difference here. My daughter's is a little bit bigger. Here, let me move this down a little bit kind of line these up a little bit my daughter's is a little bit bigger not that much but definitely enough I mean she is four years older for God's sakes so both really really high quality shoes and I really enjoy them so far right out of the box they look great um, I'm gonna have my kids try them on and 
walk around in them. And then we're going to go beat them up on the trail and we're going to see how they do. Okay, so my kids have been wearing the high-tech Penrith uh, hiking boots now for a little over two months and my son has been wearing them almost every single day. My daughter has worn them a few times, quite a few times, but not every day. And they both have worn extremely well. Uh, they've definitely taken a beating. The only thing, uh, a couple of negatives I would say right now is that my daughter did complain about the arches, that they were very uncomfortable. It felt like it put her foot up too high inside the boot. And the laces. The laces on my son's have basically shredded on the one side here where you can see that the shielding has pretty much completely come off on the one, the one. The other lace seems to be fine. I don't see any issues with it whatsoever, but this lace is completely shredded. And you know, they have eyelets in the lace holes so they're definitely smooth it didn't like it it wasn't like it rubbed it raw or anything but uh, i don't know this one lace just didn't didn't last uh, my daughter's laces are totally fine and you can tell on the bottom of the boot they've still got plenty of tread left and as i said you know kids beat the hell out of shoes and i figure what better way to test a good pair of boots is to have some kids wear them so uh, my boys same way my son's he's got plenty of tread left in the boot and he's been wearing these things a lot so um, you can tell in the back here on the heel the heel got a little bit more wear than the front my daughter is pretty much the same all the way around but Laces, not a big deal. Arches, not that big a deal. You could always get different insoles. So all in all, two really good pairs of boots. I really like them. So out of the two small issues, the arch support and the laces, not that big a deal. You know, the arch supports, it's, it's an easy fix. You can always get better insoles. The laces, buy another pair of laces. It's not that big a deal. The boots did their job and they took a beating and they're still taking a beating and they're still waterproof. All right, so that's my unboxing review of the Penrith Junior Hiking Boots from High Tech. Here's their website right here. Make sure you check these guys out. These guys have been making shoes and hiking boots for a while now, and, you know, they produce pretty high-quality stuff, and they're inexpensive. So if you like my review and found it informative, you want to get some of these for your kids, click on the link down in my description box below and make your purchase. When you do, it helps support my website. Another way you could help support is by clicking on the Donate button on my YouTube channel. When you do, you can help support my channel by donating any number of dollars, and what that's going to do is going to help me produce higher quality content to give back to you. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in my comments section down below, and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. 
Also, too, please like, share, and subscribe. Here's the subscribe button right here. Make sure you click on that. This way you stay up to date on the latest gear reviews that I'm working on. Thanks very much for tuning into trailermountain.com. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews and other outdoor-related hodgepodge. Take care, guys. Get outdoors. Thank you.